everybody. It's the, uh, here. Yep, I just didn't want to be repetitive. Today's lesson is all about sightseeing and the various things we can see in New York City. One interesting thing that we could see in New York City is the strange curved thing. Now, many of you wonder, what is this? What is it used for? What can I do with this? Well, you know, sometimes when you're walking and you're really tired and you want to lean on something, you kind of lean on this, you know, because it's a leaning post. Well, not a post, but it's a leaning curved thing. So, you know, if you're ever in New York and you want to um, visit and see sights, just take your camera out and um, take a picture of this leaning post. What do you think of this leaning post? What do you think of this? You know? So, when you're tired, you just kind of lean on it. So that's always an interesting thing. Now, there are other things we can observe. For instance, what does one do when, you know, their shoelace is untied, you know? Um, no, you, you can come through. What? Well, someone's burning down their house. But what does one do when their shoelace is untied, you know? I mean, it's a little bit hard to stoop down and tie it. So this is when this plank comes in handy, you know? And if you walk around the city, this is another sightseeing object you can see, which is a, a plank to kind of rest and tie your shoelace. So mark that down in your notebooks. After all, today's episode is about things you can see in New York. Other things we can see is we can not notice different things. We could look at um, the architecture of this cycle. Why isn't this tire a perfect round circle? Why does it look flat? Why is there rust inside of it? Isn't the tire supposed to be round? Well, this is symbolic of American politics. For those of you who often wondered what the political angle of the show is, this is the American government. A rusty thing that is some kind of circle of nonsense. So, I'm really glad all of you are finding this very informative. So if we come on over here, we can find certain things very um, interesting. For instance, we can look at some chickens. You know, chickens, there's one, two, three, and then there's a huge egg. So we can always remember this wall for the rest of our lives, thinking, well, there are three chickens, chickens, and two eggs on it. You know, that's what we need to remember. You know, what do you think is the significance of this wall? Like the chickens, are they, do they interest you? No. The chickens, no, no, why not? The eggs. No? Not, nothing interest? Nothing at all. That's okay. You find this interesting? The chicken on the wall? Do you find? No? See? If, do you find the chickens on the wall interesting? The Sorry? chickens on the wall? Huh? The chickens on the wall? Uh -huh. Are they interesting to you in any kind of dimension? Um. Are the eggs? any more or less interesting? I think they're actually roosters. That's kind of signifying or representing the morning. I see. Yeah, and then the eggs are the hatch of, you know, a new life, so a new day. All right. So as you can see, we can always bring significance to things, you know? But I do find this leading post a lot more interesting. And the most significant item I think for today is definitely this. Kitchen, nitchen, mitchen. See, in order to popularize an object, you know, and make it like a popular sightseeing thing, you just have to advertise it a lot. So if everybody sees this symbol all over the world, you know, on pictures everywhere, and if they see it, you know, on TV and news and CNN, soon people will be coming from all over the world just to see this, this thing. You know, how exciting it can be. They'll just want to see it, you know? And that's one of the interesting things about sightseeing. People just kind of want to look at things and think about things. And, and kind of,
You know, if you find nothing to see, sometimes you just gotta make it up! <laughs>